everyone, good morning, good afternoon, good evening, good day. My name is Lex and welcome back to some more GTA 5 where today I am looking at a car mod that I am going to predict right now may be one of the coolest car mods we have seen in this game so far. And that's saying something because we have looked at all of those really cool Deu cars in the past and I think this is going to be just as cool as any of those Deus. This is, well actually... You probably won't be able to guess from the interior because this interior is taken from one of the standard cars in GTA 5. But you may notice something's up because of the fluffy dice hanging from the mirror that do actually move, which I like. That's a nice touch. But if I just change my camera view right here, you will see that it is a Subaru Vivio. Oops. Oh, God. I probably should. <laughs> That's what happens when you try to be fancy. Let's just change to the uh, sweet camera view. There we go. Look at that. This is my Subaru Vivio, which is incredibly dirty right now. It's got a mismatched bonnet, looking very dirty, actually, and it's got some terrible paint on it. Oh, sorry about that. Sorry about that. Sorry about that. Doesn't matter. Doesn't matter about all that. Actually, does matter about the people dying, but it doesn't matter about my car being damaged because we are going to go fix it in a moment. So let's just pull over and take a look at this thing. And by the way, there are so many tuning options for this car. I haven't looked at them yet. I just hear there's a lot of them. So we might be able to get some really cool combinations. Maybe I'll make one. Maybe I'll make two. We'll see how we go. But let me just, I'm just going to go to vehicles here. I'm going to go to door control. And I'm just going to open all of the doors so we can see. I don't think the rears are going to do anything. Nope. We have the hood and we have the trunk. And trunk two does nothing. Okay. Let's just get out of here and go to first person mode and just check this thing out right here. So here is our interior looking pretty simple. This is the standard interior that's taken from some of the other cars in GTA. But as we go around, we have this nice boot here. It all opens, it all works. And you should have noticed, by the way, when I had the interior view, that all the dials and stuff work as well. And there is our engine right there. Pretty cool. Nice, simple, not overly detailed, but it doesn't need to be because all the funness... And the details are in the tuning parts, which is exactly what we want. And by the way, I don't think that is... I don't think a car really exists with this. If the uh, Subaru Vivi actually has this, that's incredibly interesting. But it's missing the frame around the top of the door. Oh, right. Oh, no. I think maybe the mod maker uh, forgot to uh, match that to that thing. So that must be a, a bug. Yeah, it's the same on both sides. Or maybe that is something with a Subaru Vivio, but that is a kind of weird touch if it is actually real. <laughs> Let's jump back in then. And we're going to go take this to LS Customs. I think we can modify everything in LS Customs. I don't think we need to go to uh, Benny's or any of those sort of things. Let's just close all these down. And by the way, there are actually some extras as well. So we have four extras here. We have extra one, which is this rear window right here. And by the way, just doing that, I just noticed, just fixed all my car ups. That was pretty cool. So this gets rid of the rear window. I don't know why that would be a thing. Maybe that was a thing in the real car. I don't really know much about this car, to be quite honest with you. I, is it a K car? It looks K-Car size, so I think this is actually a K-Car, but I'm not 100% sure, but I'm pretty sure it is. So we have extra two, which is just the little antenna there you can see on the front by the light there. Then we have toggle uh, extra three, which is some bad boy lights and some uh, little sun visor thing going on there. Hmm, that's a bit... No, I don't think we're going to be touching that at all because that looks horrible. And then toggle extra five, which is numbered five and not four for some reason, is this badge right here, which I don't really understand what that's for, but if you wanted a random extra badge, there you go. Is that the same on the back? Let's just see. Nothing changes on the back. Okay, right. There we are. So let's go to LS Customs and let's see what sort of mad creation we can come up with. And also you may notice it says Subaru Vivio T-Top right there because this is an add-on car. This is not a replacement, which is pretty cool. If you want to know how to install an add-on car, I'll put a link in the description below where you can go to my video where I explain just how you can install these things into GTA 5. So let's repair the vehicle. Now it's nice and clean. All ready for, look at this, 22 categories. Look at all this lot. Brakes, bumpers, engine, exhaust, fenders, grill, hood, horn, interior. Interior. Okay, so maybe we can, hang on. There's an ornament selection? That's interesting. So we actually have all that Benny style stuff in Los Santos Customs. That's, that's interesting. Lights, plate, respray, roll cage, roof, skirt, spoiler, suspension, transmission, turbo, wheels, windows. That is a huge amount of stuff. Right, let's go. So, brakes. Let's just go for some race brakes. Bumpers, front bumpers. Oh, my good God. We have seven of them. Hold on a minute. I have a feeling. I just want to go and quickly check before we jump any further. I want to see if there are any more inside of Benny's. And, well, apparently... 
then it doesn't work. Okay, I don't know what's going on with that. That must be a bit of a bug, but I think, hang on, we can probably just check by going to modifications, front bumper. Yeah, there are only seven. Okay, so we can modify this whole thing in Los Santos Customs. So let's jump back. Okay, here we are. And again, we've got an even bigger repair bill than last time. And I should note, it does have full scratch working, everything like that. This is a really detailed thing that is supposed to work just like a standard car would in GTA 5. So bumpers, front bumpers, we have the stock bumper. We have bumper one, which is a plastic one. I love that. I love plastic bumpers. We have this one with some rally lights and PIAA lights. Then we have this one with uh, a silver grill. And is that supposed to be an into? I guess... I guess these were the K cars that came with maybe like 660cc turbo engine. So yeah, that must be the intercooler. Then we have this one with the front plate and some fog lights. Then we have this one, which is just completely crazy with a massive splitter. Uh, okay, I thought that was crazy. This one is even crazier. Look at that. Look at that. That That's ridiculous. It looks like some sort of... Oh, I, I don't know. It's crazy. And a super smoothed front bumper. Wow. Okay, that that's... Quite an old style, actually. Euro style. I don't know if anyone really remembers this. Euro style cars. They would just try to smooth everything off them until they were pretty much just bubbles of cars. That's what that reminds me of. What should we go for? I think we'd definitely do more than one build. I quite like this. I quite like the fog lights as it looks like a, a nice standard look. I also like this one as well with the plastic bumpers. And I like that one. Oh, I like all of them. Sod it. I'm going to go for this one to start off with. On the rear bumpers, we have plastic, of course. Then we have a super smooth one without any plates on. Then we have this one with a little splitter on it. And then we have this one again with another splitter. We don't have anything interesting to match the front on the back. I think this might end up looking like some sort of like tuned up factory model, I think, because that's what that front bumper reminds me of. On the engine, we can just go to a level four upgrade. On the exhaust, we have the stock. We have the Vivio exhaust one, which is just a, a tiny little twin exhaust. Then we have a bigger bore exhaust. Then we have crazier Bosuzuku style ones with um, sort of staining heat things going on. And then, oh wow, oh wow, look at this. Oh, this is fantastic. Oh my god, okay, okay. We're definitely going to be using that in the next build. What should I go for now? I want to make this one. I quite like this first one. I'm going to make it as some sort of like factory tuning option. And then we're going to move on. So I think we're going to go for the nice little twin pipes there. On the fenders, we have stock. So we've got Vivio Fender 1, which is mud flaps. Then we've got these ones, tiny little bolt-on arches. And then bolt-on arches with the mud flaps. I'll go for the little mud flaps as the little extra, like a little rally option. Like it was a rally-inspired option from the factory. We'll go for that one. On grills, we have... Oh, okay. It's actually doing the thing underneath. Okay, so we got that. We have that with a better intercooler. Then we have a black intercooler. And then we have an oil cooler on the, out, on the outside, which I'm definitely going to be using for the Boso Suku style one. But for now, I think we go with that one with the fans. I think that's a cool standard tuning option thing. So we go with that one. I just I want to make some different, some various builds. So this is the subtle one. Then we move on to crazy. I think we'll we build it up. On the interior, we only have ornaments, and do you know what? I don't care for ornaments, so whatever. On the lights, we have just standard stock and xenon lights and a neon kit, which I'm not going to go for on this one. On the plates, well, let's just go for a standard white one, as that matches the age, I guess. Actually, let's go for that one, because this is a car from the late 80s, early 90s, I believe. We'll go for that one. We'll leave respray to last roll cage. We have a huge option here. We have stock, we have a, oh, a little weenie one right there. Then we have this one with a little bit more added. And then, oh, I see, so it just sort of builds it up each time. So then it's that one there. Then it's completely stripping it out with some different seats. And then, oh, we've got the kind of, oh, okay, that's, oh my God. <laughs> that's ridiculous. That's amazing. Okay, I think we'll leave that one to the Bososuku one and make that all crazy looking. I think that because this is meant to be a stock tuning option, I think I could possibly get away with just the standard roll cage at the back there, maybe? I don't know. Would you have that as a standard option in a car? I don't know. Let's make this a rally-inspired one, then. Let's just make this a rally-inspired, but also not looking too not-standard style. That would be our first um, theme here. 
Then we have... Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, my God. Okay. I. Oh, my God. There's, there's going to be so many options, isn't there? There's going to be so many different versions that we can make with this car. A police car, of all things? Hell, yes. And in wonderful, impeccable timing, my 360 controller has died. I've been having a lot of trouble with this thing lately. It sort of dies. It's not the battery. It just sort of turns off, and then it won't let me run anything else. So back to a uh, good old keyboard and mouse here. So we have this. Then we have this right here, just a little scoop. That's kind of rally style. I think we might go for that one. And then a full T-top conversion. Look at this. Oh, my God. So this must be why. Okay, so that's what's the thing with the door there. That's why we had that problem with the door, because it is a T-top. I get it now. I get it now. Okay. They also has sun visors as well. Oh, I guess they were already there. You just see them more with the roof gone. And then we have this. Oh, oh, was that the last one? Oh, I see. It gets rid of that and makes it into a full convertible like that. That's pretty amazing. That's pretty amazing. But I'm going to go for this one right here, because I want to make this a cool little simple rally style right there. So now we move on to skirts. We have stock. Skirts 1, Skirts 2. I don't think any of those are going to match for a rally version. Or maybe this would. That could... I think that could have been a, fa a factory option. I, th I think that could have been a factory option. So I'm going to go for that one. On the spoilers, we have stock, which is none at all. Then we have this, which is actually not a spoiler at all. It's a roof rack or a boot rack, rather. Then we have this piddly little spoiler there that doesn't even <laughs> span the whole width of the car. Then we have, oh my god, look at that. That's that's utterly ridiculous. And this as well. I think all of these are too ridiculous for them to be a standard option. Apart from this one. I think this one would work. I'm going to go for that one. Again, this is the theme of what it's going to be like. It's going to be a stock style rally version of this car. Suspension, we can knock that down. Well, that was not much of a drop at all. Look at that. Nothing. Almost nothing. Okay, transmission race transmission not gonna worry about driving because i don't even have my controller on me and driving with a keyboard is a pain anyone who still plays this with the, plays this with a keyboard i i don't know my hat goes off to you because i could not cope on wheels we have right is this what else we got here just the windows okay so windows i'm gonna put to a light smoke no let's not go for anything on this one wheel type okay let's go for the tuner options tuner we have yeah see these are the sort of things oh God, there's so many things I'm not used to playing with this uh, keyboard and mouse thing, by the way, for these menus. So I'm a bit confused. What is going to go and look like a rally style thing? All of these are quite cool, but they do look aftermarket. Oh, let's. How about these mini lights? These mini lights could work. Do you know what? They could work. They're kind of. Is that. What's the difference there? One's chrome, one's not. Okay, we'll go for that chrome one there. I think that can kind of work as a standard sort of wheel. I think so. I think so. Or we have these off-road wheels. Oh, no. Okay, I think we might have to go with these, actually. We'll go, we're going to go with one of these. And I'm going to make it look like some sort of steel wheel. These look like ATS Classics. Or we can go for these. Or, hmm, maybe these. Maybe them. I think, actually, we're going to go with... Oh, no. What shall I go with? I don't know. I don't know. Let's go with these ones. I'm going to go with these ones. And there we go. I think... That is everything, isn't it? Oh, we also need to respray, of course. Wheel colour, we can change to uh, a darker. Let's make it to black steel. Let's make that like that. And then the tyres, we have custom ones we're writing on. I'm not going to go with that. Tire enhancements, bulletproof, smoke, colour. We don't need any of that. Let's go back to the respray then. Livery and... <gasps> Wait, what? Wait, what? Hang on. Okay, so hang on. How do we change the colour then? Okay, so we can't change the colour. We might have we're gonna have to use that with the trainer then. We're gonna have to use the trainer to change the colour then. So we have standard colours, secondary and primary, which we can't change here. And then we have livery one. Oh my god, that's that's in Thai. Why is that in Thai? That that's okay. Well, for some reason we've got a uh, a Thai uh, comic thing. Yeah, that's completely in Thai. I guess the mod maker must be Thai. I guess that makes sense. There we go. There's that, which is some sort of Thai cartoon character. Then we have this koi with like a koi style. This is really cool, sort of anime. What is that? Is that called uh, Itasha? Itasha, I think it's called, where you have like all the anime stuff. Then we have, oh, look at this. Yeah, we're definitely going to be making a full rally build then. Look at that. That is amazing. It's still red on the inside, I've noticed. We're going to have to change it afterwards, I think. 
Then we have this one. <laughs> Proper American. That's that's just awful. That's god awful. That's no, no. That's horrible. That same style worked with the slam van. Not so much this. Oh, oh. So that's why the police things are there because we have this. I'm, I I can't read any of that apart from the character for North. Um, yeah, I don't know what that says. North something police department. I assume. Oh, okay. That that's amazing. We'll definitely do a build with that as well. And then we have this one. This is Itasha for sure. Hoshizora Rin, whoever that is. I don't, I don't really know much about anime. And then this one, which is a, a pinstriping one for a lowrider style. There are so many cool options that we can do with this. There are so many different styles that we can go. I am in love with this. This is absolutely amazing. And I just noticed we still got all these things here for some reason. We've got great top speed, great acceleration, awful braking. That's a bit of fun there. So, what should I go for with this one? This is meant to be the rally one, so I guess we go with the rally option. And that's everything done. We can't change the colour until we go outside. Look at this. This is a piddly little rally car. It's amazing. Look at it. Oh, my God. Okay, so let's just go to modifications. Uh, actually, it's not. It's in paint menu, isn't it? Now, we can change the primary colour and everything. So, let's go for a blue around here. Just a normal blue. There we go. Just so it blends in a bit better. That's nice. That is absolutely amazing. Let's just take that all in. It's actually got Colin McRae written on the side as well. So it's completely based on the Impreza that he drove back in the 90s. Oh, this is just amazing. Look at that. Here is our first build. It is a full rally build. And it's actually not that quick. And the brakes are awful. <laughs> that is great. That is so great. Actually, I just want to, just for the, just so we can absorb this whole picture in, I want to go take this up into the hills. There we are. Now it's at home. Look at this. This is amazing. Actually, what I can also do is I can also go to the paint menu and go to the dirt level. We can also make this just a little bit dirty so we can go to, uh, there's uh, stock. There's 20%, 40%, 60%, 80%, and full. Oh, look at that. Oh, that is beautiful. We've got a beautiful rally car. I don't know what the hell's going on with those hills. That's, I've never seen that before. I don't know what that's about, but look at this. Absolutely brilliant. Let's move on to the second one then. I'm going to try and build it up, and we're going to leave the best till last. Let's see what our next car is going to be. So in this build, I'm actually going to start off by doing the livery. Here we go down to, where is it? Where's our livery gone? Did I just go past it? Oh, it's in respray, that's why. Okay, no, I'm just being stupid. So I'm going to go for this right here this is going to be our next one our police build this is going to be amazing so i'm starting off with this and now we're going to go back up to the top so we have our front bumpers we have number one. Oh, that's number seven let's actually go from the bottom up this time so we have this which is just completely crazy going back up see that, that would have been a nice rally thing i think we could have used that on our front bumper as well instead of that one but i liked the standard look of it and then we have this rally one as well and plastic bumpers Again, I'm not sure what to go for with this one because I want this to be like a cool little police car. Should we make this like a ridiculous police car? Let's go for that one. Let's make this into some sort of like racy tuna police car or something. Rear bumpers, we have plastic. That one's smoothed. And then these ones, I'm going to go for this one right here. Let's get that one. And engine, we'll upgrade. We won't bother with all of that. Exhausts, we have. Oh, look, here we go. This is going to be crazy. We have this one or <laughs> this one. The Bososuku. Bososoku. Why do I never say that right? I can never remember how that's said. Bososoku, I think it is. The Bososoku police car. That's amazing. But I'm not going to go with that one. Maybe I'll go with that one. Maybe. I don't know. Should we have like a crazy tuna police car? Let's, let's do it. Let's do it. I'm going to go for it. On the sides, I want to go for the little bolt on arches like that. <laughs> On the grill, we can change that to uh, perhaps a, an up... Is that supposed to be... A sp I think there's supposed to be teeth, actually. Not just a black intercooler. Oh, man. I love how that looks with the oil cooler sticking out. But I think I'm going to go with just the upgraded intercooler on that one. On the hood, we have this little uh, thing here. Did I miss these out? I think I missed these out before. Do you know what? I genuinely think I missed those out. Oh, that's annoying. We could have made that build slightly better. So we could have had that one. That one. Or the carbon thing. I definitely would have gone for that one if I didn't. I can't remember if I did or not now. Oh, that's annoying. I'm going to go for that one again then on this one. 
on the horn, we don't have to worry about any of that. Interior, we don't really need an ornament. There's nothing police related here, is there? No, we won't bother with any of those. On the lights, again, we don't really need to worry about any of those. Let's go for some Xenons just to mix it up a little bit. On the plate, we'll... Uh, should we make that black? Let's make that black. There we go. Respray, we've already done. Roll cage, this is where we want just something a little small like that again. Just a little, or maybe a little bigger. I don't really think we're going to need that in a police car of all things. That's not going to look right. Oh my god, I just noticed the roll cage 4 has actually got like a big massive <laughs> gear knob in a rainbow color. And I think, oh look, there's loads of extra stuff on the dashboard. Okay, we're definitely going to be using that later on with one of the, in fact, let's just use it for this one. Let's make this into a racy looking uh, police car build. So we'll go with that one just so we can look at the in uh, interior of that in just a moment. On the roof, of course, we've got to go for the police lights. What other ones were there? Oh, they were these ones. Okay, I remember now. Yeah, let's just go for the police lights. Skirts, we'll go for the same skirts we went for last time. Why not? On the spoiler, we can go for none of these because they don't match at all. None of them look right, so I won't bother with any of them. On suspension, well, let's just go for custom suspension. It doesn't really drop it much at all. In fact, I might use slam it on the Bosasaku one. That's the only one I'm going to use slam it on. On the turbo, let's just bung that on. Wheels, here we go. We've got the standard wheels, which actually kind of match the fact that it's a police car. But let's go for something sport. Oh my god. Look at, look at the size of these. These look ridiculously big on this car. Are these wheels kind of match? These wheels are kind of okay. This all looks pretty ridiculous, to be honest. So I guess we'll just go with these ones. <laughs> and maybe we'll... Um, yeah, let's go for it. Let's go for it. Let's just stick those on. There we go. I think that's everything. Windows we can put to a light smoke. Oh, maybe not. Maybe not. It actually changes. I guess because they're glass and they're treated as glass, they also work for the tinting. Okay, we'll go for none then. And that's everything done for that build. This is our racy tuna cop car. Look at that. That's so ridiculous. Oh, God. I don't know how, to how do I drive forward with the keyboard. Oh, there we go. Oh my god, that sounds brilliant. <laughs> I love this. So hang on, can I... Uh... No, that's the headlights. How do I horn with this thing? Okay, so the horn is E, apparently. Oh, we don't have a siren. That's a huge shame. I really wish we could have had a siren, but I guess it makes sense that it's not supposed to be a police car. But look at that. That's absolutely brilliant. Now that we've done our second one, it's time to move on to our third and final one. I want to make the craziest Bosasoku style... K car we have ever seen. Wait, I almost forgot. The interior. Okay, look at this. This is amazing. So we have racing bucket seats. We've also got some extra sort of controls there. And we've also got a turbo. Oh my god, look, the whole thing works. The tachometer. Oh my, wait, hold on. It's got a shift light. Hang on, let's just go full whack. That's amazing. It's got a shift light. Oh, that is just brilliant. And it's got this big, massive rainbow dildo gear knob. And for racing interior. In fact, let's just get out of here and just look. Look at that. That's amazing. Oh, this is amazing. It's also got a NOS bottle down the middle there. Oh, that is just beautiful. Right, that's the end of that one. Let's go and make our third and final build. Right, here we are. And this is the first time I think we're actually modifying one that all has the same color. And I think it looks really nice as a standard car. It's a nice, cute little car. But we're about to go and make things all crazy because I want to put on this right here <laughs> this is i just want to go full out balls to the wall crazy so i'm going to go for this one right here on the back i mean the fourth one that i went for was also pretty mad but i like this one as it doesn't stick out too much or maybe we'll go for oh maybe i'll go for that one i should have gone for that one for the last build we'll go for this one again then engine doesn't really matter exhausts again look at this we need this straight away Fenders. We need these ones sticking out here. I'm not going to go for the ones with the uh, extra mud flaps. We don't really need those. On the grill, of course, we need the external oil cooler. That is just amazing. That? There's that. On our hood, we'll go for a carbon bonnet, maybe? I don't know. I'm not sure. I'm not sure. I, I Actually, I don't know really what would... Is there much in the way of bonnet mods for Bosasoku cars? Bosasuku? Bosas... I, I don't know how to say it. Bozo... We need, to, we need a short way of saying these Bozo cars or something. I don't know. But I've also noticed that the extra badge thing seems to have come back on, which wasn't extra. I don't know how that suddenly appeared again. Unless it was there the whole time and I just completely missed it. I'm going to go for that one. 
just so we change things up again. But I don't really think that is going to match. Horn doesn't matter. Interior, we're not really going to worry about our ornaments. Lights, let's go for some neons now. I want to make this just completely and utterly crazy. I'll worry about the color later on. Headlights into Xenon as well. Plates, well, I guess we could just leave that as what it is. Respray, we'll leave till last. Roll cage, we want the full crazy audio setup. Look at that. That looks absolutely amazing. On the roof, well, we don't want any of that. We don't want that. Should we go for the T-top even though it's uh, meant to be a, a Bosa Soku car? I think we can go for the T-top with the roofs off. I think that's pretty cool. We'll go for that one then. Uh, we, as, as always, if any of you watch videos of these guys, they always like stick out of windows and stuff. Mind you, they don't really use these cars, really. But, doesn't matter. Doesn't matter. I'm sure they'd like to hang out or whatever, whatever they do. It's meant to be like a gang, isn't it? That's the whole point of Bosa Soku. It's not really just a style. It's like a culture. Anyway, let's not go into that. Spoilers! Crazy spoilers! That one maybe, or that that one's crazy. That is a proper rally style, and we probably should have used that, but I didn't want to, because it was a bit too much. Let's go for spoiler number four then. Suspension, I'm going to use slam it in a minute anyway, so that doesn't really matter. Transmission, turbo, just for the sound, we'll go for the turbo. And windows, well, I guess we could tint these down. I don't want to make them too much, as then we might see the speakers inside, so I'm going to go for a light smoke. And wheels, right. What should we go for with wheels? Because Bosozoku wheels, I think, would have been better with these ones. But I'm not sure how these are going to look with Slam It. But I think I might go with one of these to start off with. And we might go back and change the wheels later on. So I think, I'm thinking of going with this right here. Don't ask me why. I just, I just feel that it, I feel like it's right. I feel like this is right for the car. So I'm going to go with that one right there and I don't think we can have anything let's go for those as well because that's kind of that's an in style at the moment we'll go for that one and then of course liveries to end it all off with so we have the Thai comic not gonna go for that one Koi not gonna go for that one not gonna go for the rally style or that or the place which leaves us with the Itasha style or the low rider thing with all the pinstriping I'm gonna go for the Itasha make it completely crazy like that and also I think that's it is that it? Have I missed anything? Nope, that's it. Right, let's jump out then. And then I'm going to go to vehicle options. I'm going to go to slam it. And here we go. Oh, there we go. We didn't need any of the extra wheels. That's it. That's all we needed. I need to remember it's not that key. It's this key. Oh, look at that. Oh, this is just beautiful. Look at the way that handles because it's completely slammed down. Oh, my goodness me. Okay, I want you guys to let me know. Which build do you think is the best? The first, the second, or the third? Perhaps you've made your own build. Perhaps you've done yours a little bit differently. I would love to see what you guys have come up with. So if you were to get this mod, links, of course, in the description below. I will also include the video link where you can learn how to install these as well. If you actually download this and you make your own build, I would love to see pictures of these builds. So send them to me on Twitter at figure8. Links for that is, of course, in the description below as well and you guys really wanted to uh, have a secret thing and also I should point out there are some comments that I am going to feature I'm featuring them at the end of this one because I know this is going to be a long video and I wanted to get into it straight away uh, you guys have been wanting some secret words but I did want to know what you guys think so maybe we can have a multiple option thing here I would love to know which one of the cars you preferred or whether you like all of them or none of them let me know and secret word of the day is lightning because of that style or bolt, actually, let's lightning bolt. That's our secret phrase, lightning bolt, because that matches our exhaust that we got there. I love this thing. Look at this. Absolutely amazing. So let's just finish this off featuring some comments. So we have the first one here from Cool Man 2020. It says, I thought it was all I thought it was over, but I guess we just have to figure it out. Yeah, he's I've if you actually go back for every video for like the last uh, I don't know like the last five videos maybe I've been featuring one of his comments in every single one because he was like no stop stop featuring my comments and I just kept featuring them I don't know it's just a bit of fun uh, next con here's from Fredo Santana he says what a waste of money there's nothing new that's in relation to the DLC cars the secret ones that are coming out this month uh, that I've been featuring in the last few videos I agree with you I don't think that those low riders really added anything that I would want to pay GT online credits for they weren't that interesting and it makes me think that perhaps Rockstar have left out quite a lot of the modifications that will be there come release date so of course if those cars do change and they do have more tuning options you can guarantee I would definitely be doing videos on them but uh, uh, yeah from what I see so far 
they're not that impressive. I'm not that impressed with any of them. And then we also have the last question from great name here, XXX Fedora Master 69 XXX. He says, what made you start YouTube Lex? Of course, YouTube money. Actually, no, the real reason is because I finished university and I needed something to kind of spur me on to work and to start like getting a schedule of things going as I did really, oh, I just noticed I forgot to change my, I oh, mind you, it's in white. Actually, it doesn't really matter that I forgot to change the thing because that matches the color of the paint. Anyway, never mind. Uh, yeah, I, I started YouTube off as basically not even trying to be a YouTuber. If you actually were to look at the beginning videos on my old LexTube channel, I pretty much just made it for friends. I pretty much just made it for me to challenge myself. Just, oh, look, here we go. I don't think we could actually go for a full loop. No. <laughs> we can't go for a full loop. It was basically just to challenge myself and to try and get myself to sort of do a lot of work daily because, um, I don't know, before that I was a pretty lazy person and I used this as a way to spur me on and then people just started watching my videos and then it turned into me thinking, well, maybe I could do this for a job as I actually enjoy it and that is how we've got here today. This is actually my channel. I've started with the intention of being a YouTube channel, which is why this channel is a bit different to my LexTube channel. But there we go, guys. That is it. That is it for this video. If you've enjoyed this video, please let me know by rating, commenting, subscribing, all those things. Don't forget the secret word and also let me know which car you think is the best. Can we go for a full loop? I don't think we can. Oh, no. We're close. We're close. It's not going to work. Oh, wait. Hang on. Oh, wait. Hang on. We've got the slam thing, haven't we? All oh, right. Okay. So, actually, we could have actually driven on the roof there, but I guess we're stuck now. Oh, well, there we go. That's it, guys. Thank you all very much for watching. And I will see you all next time. Goodbye. <laughs>